Welcome to another OE Classic tutorial. In this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to add your Gmail, your Google Mail, or your Google account into OE Classic. This is a very simple and straightforward tutorial, so let's get right into it. The very first thing to do is to start OE Classic. So, I'm gonna run this copy here. Now, with OE Classic running, we need to add an account. Go to the top menu bar, choose Tools, and then choose Accounts. This opens up the account list window where you can add or remove your accounts. To add a new account, click the Add button. This will open up the account wizard. There are several choices here, and the one which you're interested in is the Google account. So click that one. Now, the actual choice which option you're going to use depends on your email address. The Google account is basically for all email addresses which end in gmail.com or googlemail.com, but it can also be a custom domain which may be using Google Mail as a backend. At the time of this recording, Telus.net email is using Google account, so if you use such an email address, you would choose Google option here as well. Since I'm using a standard Gmail address for this tutorial, I'll just go with the Google selection. Click the Next button to proceed to the next step. Now, in this window, you need to choose whether you're going to use an IMAP or a POP email account. The actual choice depends on your preferences, but simply put, IMAP synchronizes between multiple devices or computers, so you would choose that option if you want to have the same emails on multiple devices like smartphone, tablet or your PC. And POP simply downloads to a single computer like this one. It is much more involved than that, and explaining full differences would require a completely separate tutorial. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just gonna go with the IMAP selection. The rest of the options are grayed out, so you don't need to worry about them. So, simply click the Next button to proceed to the next step. This step involves opening up your web browser where you have to do the final part of the process and log in to your email account. I'm running Microsoft Edge browser here, but if you use another browser like for example Chrome or Firefox, then OE Classic would open up that browser instead. This screen is also known as Sign in with Google. You can see that on the top. And just below that, you can also see that you are signing into OE Classic. This reassures you that you are logging into the correct program. In this step, you need to enter your email to log in. So, I'm using my Gmail address here. After entering your email, click the next button to proceed. In this screen, you need to enter your password for your email. Again, click the next button to continue. Now this screen shows up, which tells you that OE Classic wants to access your Google account. Some of the items are pre-selected here, but you need to actually check all the checkboxes shown here to give OE Classic full access, otherwise it can't work properly with your Gmail account. By default, Google doesn't select checkboxes for you, so before you proceed, simply check all the checkboxes shown here. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. This one, this one, this one, and the last one. Finally, scroll a bit down until you see two buttons and click the Continue button. As you can see here, OE Classic was granted access to your Google account and you can switch back to OE Classic to complete the account setup. So, I'm gonna close the browser window since it's no longer needed. Now, I'm back in OE Classic and all I have to do here is to click Finish button to create a new account in OE Classic. And basically you're done here, that's all you have to do. Now you can close this window. Now you can click send and receive button and as you can see, it will now synchronize the list of folders and you can begin using your email in OE Classic. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in more content like this, please subscribe to this channel.